We have a little bit of time this morning. Normally, once I get here, I'm just moving quick, 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 bang, bang, bang to get out there. So you don't normally see me until I'm out on the water. But this morning, we have a little bit of time. We have a special guest that's gonna be coming very soon who you'll see here in a bit. But unfortunately, a normal drive for them that would have taken maybe, I don't know, an hour and a half to an hour 45. This morning, it took like three hours. Or it's, I mean, they haven't got here yet. So it's taking at least three hours because uh, there was an accident on the Bay Bridge, I think it is. And if you're familiar with the Bay Area, all the traffic is going into the Bay um, in the morning. And when one bridge like that blocks up, it just makes everything you know, more congested. So, so while we have some time, I just want to show you this, just a classic bounce ball setup that we use for halibut, especially in the San Francisco Bay. So the first thing is this little three-way swivel. And then we have our leader, which is about four feet, three to four feet sliding hook rig. So basically on this three-way swivel you have you know, one going to your leader, this one goes to your main line, and then the one going down that's going to go to your weight. See this three-way swivel is kind of like a T. So I like to go the straight across route, one to your main line and then one to your leader, and then the one going down going to your weight. And the reason I like to do that is because when you're fighting a fish the most tension is going to be straight across here so I don't really want to be fighting you know against each other like that's just an awkward thing I feel like it could break the swivel so I want all you know the maximum tension to be just pulling straight straight against each other and on the business side of things I like to use a frozen herring during the herring spawn I go out there and nut some of myself or you can buy you know a tray of frozen herring but you can also use anchovies people don't use squid too much in the bay but I've heard you can't catch them in squid in the bay also um, but anyways, yeah, anchovies and herring, I'd say are the two most popular things to tie on this, this rig. Really quick, before we get out on the water, I'd like to thank Sunday for sponsoring this video. Sunday provides a custom lawn care plan designed specifically for your personal lawn care needs. Each plan includes easy to use tools and a unique blend of nutrient rich pouches to support the whole ecosystem for a luscious lawn that's full of life. The ordering process is simple. Start with your address and Sunday will provide critical details about the size of your lawn and the climate you live in. Then answer a few questions about yourself and the current state of your lawn and Sunday will take care of the rest. Shipments are free and arrive directly at your doorstep. And if that wasn't enough, a portion of every sale helps like-minded causes connect people to nature, conserve resources, and protect important ecosystems. So if you want to let Sunday take care of your lawn so you can spend your Sundays out on the water, follow the link in the description and be sure to use the promo code DIEHARD20 to get 20% off a full year of customized lawn plans. Thank you again to Sunday for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back out on the water. So the plan is like to get out basically like even with all those boats and then kind of work towards them and then we can kind of weave around. So. All right guys, so we've made it out and we have our special guest here. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> we have Ash with us today. She's never caught a California halibut. Right. right. Pacific halibut. Pacific halibut from like out of Washington and out of Alaska. Uh -huh. But this is different. I'm excited. So she's caught like serious big halibut, but this is like their smaller cousin. And hopefully we can get at least one today. It's still really early in the season, so we'll see. Water's a little bit cold, but as you, if you've been following along, I've caught a few this year. And uh, yeah, there's definitely a nice fleet of boats out here, so I'm sure they're catching some out there. We're just gonna try to find one here while these planes go over there. We're gonna drown small, a few herring down there, see what happens. And yeah, happy to get out. We've been trying to get out for a while. We've been trying for a minute, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously, Ash is really busy. She's getting her PhD. I'm playing hooky uh, so hard right now, too. <laughs> Hopefully her professors don't watch this. Uh, sorry, Louie. <laughs> it's probably bad. You. Don't flip. And I, I guided closed rivers. Like, uh... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Yay! You want to bring it in? No! <laughs> <laughs> 
I want to okay. let you bring it in. No, I changed my mind. Now I want. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, hell yeah. I feel like I have to put everything away to properly watch. Yeah, I don't know. If, did you see it though? Like, it's not okay. like a big like like salmon or something. It it's just like, like a yeah. yeah. It looks like you like snagged into a piece of kelp or something. Yeah, and now you got some little head shaking. Yeah. Oh my god. Do they freak out when they get to the surface? Um, not too much. Sometimes when like if you net them, they'll freak out in the net for sure. I'm gonna freak out. Oh my god. I don't know. It's pretty close. Keeper. I'm not sure, but. See if I can grab it here. Should be a good YouTuber in front of the camera on. There we go. Hey, welcome to Battleship Doors. Uh, we're going to skip the intro because look. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we're finding out if it's a keeper right now. I think it is, but we'll see. It is? Yeah, it's pretty close. Here, let me see. It's pretty close. It's close. So, minimum size is 22 well, okay. inches. This was 23 and a half. 23 and a half, that'll work. Nice little keeper. All right, first fish of the day. Sorry, I didn't talk too much, trying to be a good host here. Uh, but, anyways, yeah, first halibut of the day. Not too long. We've only been trolling for. I don't know, 15 minutes or so, at least in the juice zone. And a nice little 23 and a half inch fish going home with us. I'll bleed him, balk him, and then we'll get our lines back in and see if there's another one down there. This is nice, because now we're gonna drift back, like back the way we just came, so we'll troll right back to the same area. Excellent. And we'll get another one there. A little update, it is 11 a.m. We've been out here for a couple hours now. Had that one fish, that's about it so far. Um, yeah, there's a big fleet of boats slash kayaks off to our south here, but we're kind of avoiding those. We're kind of fishing a little bit outside the fleet, trying to find our own fish. And uh, yeah, it's a tough bite, kind of as we expected, but lucky to find one this morning. We're gonna keep at it. The tide is really terrible today, so like, the slack tide or the high tide I think was at like 9 or 8.15 this morning. We launched around 9. So we're literally fishing like the worst of the tide. It's really ripping right now. So not the best time to catch fish, but who knows? Definitely not out of the woods. There's definitely a possibility to catch a fish right now. So we're going to keep at it. Keep trolling. Keep our herring down there. See what happens. Sturgeon. Yeah. Uh, I think you can sturgeon in like summer too. Yeah. Here, you want to bring this one? Oh yeah, I yeah. want to bring that okay. fish in. I am not even shy. I'm taking a hands off and I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I just want a fish, man. Just reach. Normally the guide, I feel like the guide now. It's a, I, it's a good feeling, I feel like. Like, I've been missing out. I've been on the wrong side of this, <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> oh my gosh. My first halibut. Oh. <laughs> Do you think I should just bring it in? Did you see it? Um, I'm gonna really. net it. Yeah. It doesn't hurt to know. You have a nice net, so it won't hurt the fish too much. What do you think? Yeah, you can just net it. Okay. Try not to net the really small ones because it'll tear at the tail a little bit. Sure. But you have a nicer net, so it'll be. It should be fine. You're okay with okay. me high sticking here a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I think that's a key for any reason. You want to 
run it. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. I didn't think they could do that. I didn't think they could do that. day we're just on our way back into the harbor it was a little bit of a tough bite but we managed to get a couple of fish and honestly for me it's more exciting for me to see other <laughs> people catch especially if it's their first one so uh, that was cool to see if we're so, uh, i'll leave a link to cash's channel in the description if you're interested in like i mean she does everything a lot of different stuff but especially steelhead fishing she used to be a steelhead guide yeah, yeah, I mean, I still technically currently. have an active license. Okay, currently <laughs> still a guy, even though she lives far away from most rivers. But uh, <laughs> when she was back home, she was always doing a lot of guiding. So, yeah, if you're interested in steelhead fishing, she's got a ton of great stuff. I know personally when I started steelhead fishing and still now when I'm looking to learn something, a lot of the videos pop up. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, um, so, yeah, check out her channel. I'll leave it in the description. But, yeah, it's good to see you. Just thank you so much. That was so fun to like, it's one thing to just like catch a fish out by yourself in a kayak, that's always great. And it's another thing to just be like, I don't know, feel partnered up with somebody. Yeah. It was a great experience and I can't thank you enough for bringing me out with you. Of course. Yeah. It's like a, uh, what do you call it? Pontoon boat kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of yeah, it was, it was a party kayak <laughs> kind of day. <laughs> Actually, she has an uh, autopilot also. So yes. if you want to see more autopilot content, she'll be sent to Autopilot races in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Drag racing at three three miles an hour. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to check her out. Bye. Later.